Hi, Aries. What's up, baby? All right. So I just, I'm just trying to get everything organized here because I have a new setup looking thing. I don't know. I have to change it. I'm getting a new stand and stuff. So bear with me. But yeah, I like this white. You know what I'm saying? It's pure purity, just like you guys. So this is for um, November 2024. Um, let's see how, how this is going to be. So this cup, um, had a bear in it. And I think I'm going to use it as a thumbnail, like the water, I mean, um, had like a little bear in it. And I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so yeah, when I put the thumbnail, you'll see what I'm talking about, but you guys got like a weird ass bear in there. So the bear represents um, a few things, but um, it definitely could represent like a masculine energy. Like you could also be the bear as well. Maybe you're going into a leadership position or getting like a promotion of something, or this, like I said, could be like a male figure in your life, like your father, your grandfather, your husband, boyfriend, spouse, whatever, um, a brother. So the 15th could be significant in the 10th. Chinese ear of the rooster, Chinese ear of the dragon, and Chinese ear of the rat, and Chinese ear of the snake. So Libra, Gemini, Taurus, and Capricorn here. Strength and finance is authority, maternal figure, relationship with a dominating partner, power struggle could be. Rising to challenges and strength, weight or body image issues, and a quick temper too, so careful of that spring or summer somewhat slow moving so maybe you feel like you're moving in slow motion this month or things are going slow but i'm also hearing progressing here but when i saw it in the water it looked like something like really happy and stuff so like hey i'm here you know like in a corner so maybe somebody wants you to notice them from like afar or like in a corner or it could be you literally like traveling here look at this cup Okay, so let's see here. Actually, I'm going to use this one today for your reading. All right, so we have, um, yeah, there's a lot of clarity here for November. Yeah, you're being catapulted into this path right away. Like, you're being, like, shot put, I'm hearing. Like, you're being thrown here. And there's something with, like, those circle weights like the circle ones, not just regular dumbbells, but like the plates. Chinese ear of the goat is here, Chinese ear of the rat. Yeah, there's definitely travel and an unexpected fork in the path here. And then towards the end of the month, yeah, we have Aries here, that's you. We have transportation to Aquarius, Chinese ear of the ox. Chinese ear of the dragon is here as well. And it, and it says pace here, like um, your paces, like uh, footsteps and stuff. Something about your pace. Maybe you're monitor monitoring like your movements, exercise and stuff like that. So November, let's see. You're clear here. So the whole month, you're going to be clear about something. We have HM22 here, letter B. We also have J... S and R, and I'm also here in Junior League. Grim is written here. Hmm. You are, you are protected here by the Grim here. So whatever is negative or whatever around you, you're being protected from that. And I'm here and I have to go. You have a fox here. It's leaping into the hole where it gets like the, you know, whatever it's hunting, like the rabbits and stuff. So you're you're definitely prouncing on like your prey now. Like you know exactly where they're located and whatever. <laughs> so you're you're definitely doing that. You're catching it. There's two hearts here. So there could be two love opportunities. Chinese here, the tiger, cancer, and Pisces here. So it could be water. You do have number seven here. Chinese year of the horse. Cancer, you have 35. 
and you have a hummingbird here so freedom freedom and knowledge right in the beginning of the month like you're you're gaining knowledge about something you do have an axe here connected to someone watching you there's a secret admirer here chinese here the rabbit aries could be another aries you're dealing with here you also have a hook and a child here so maybe you feel attached to somebody because of a child or a pregnancy here and i feel like you're cutting someone out or you cut this person out a long time ago with the axe there is a wish here connected to uh, Christmas. Little Christmas. Yeah. Oh no, we gotta stop. I'm hearing Christmas music. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. Cause I'm hearing, run, run, Rudolph. Santa's gotta make it to town. Yeah, that's <laughs> that one, you know? Na, 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 na. he could take the freeway down yeah so um you're running you're rushing i don't know maybe the holiday season's gonna be fast for you yeah you have the knight of cups here can you see him i mean you could see him right with the cup the knight. look at this it's as clear as day you got love coming in straight up and you have the love locket here and the lock is open and it's pouring out the love here Someone's pouring out their feelings, or this is you. Love's definitely coming here. You have um, Ganesha here. Mm. Buddhist stuff. Spirituality. Maybe you're going into more spiritual realm here. You have Chinese ear of the snake here. The golden opportunity I'm hearing. And you have the dove here, which is representing freedom and love. You're free to love now. Nothing's holding you back. Chinese ear of the pig. Sagittarius, you have Scorpio here, Aquarius, and can Cancer. You have the wishbone here, wish coming true. And there's something with the left hemisphere of the brain. Mm. And I'm hearing mousetrap. Letter H, and you have Chinese here, the monkey here, climbing this tree. And there's a lot of swings on it and different ways to go on here. So you're being more flexible with the body and your movement. You're being more playful, happy, abundance here. Yeah, you're dreaming of a getaway here. And I feel like you're doing, you're going. You're going somewhere, you're traveling somewhere. You're, whatever your dream getaway is, you're, you're booking it. Because I'm here and you only live once. And I'm here and that's my motto. So we have someone with Converse's here. The Converse shoe. So something is traditional here or like vintage, old fashioned, or, you know, you, you, you're going on the same path, but it's basic here. Like it's like one foot at a time tradition, you know, like one foot at a time. You're not taking risks like that in, in a way that you're not going off of your path. But something is changing your path, if that makes sense. It's it. I know it sounds confusing, but it's I'm hearing it's all natural. <laughs> so that's what it is. It's all natural. You're good. You're being divinely guided with this lighthouse here. Like it, it's like the pointing you to your north. Your north purpose here. Your north node. There's something with like cat paws and like those little beans that they have or whatever, you know, the toe beans. Mm. And I'm here on Lucky 47. A lot of luck here. And you have a banjo here, so. Music. Maybe something about the South. Yeah, because I'm hearing that song. Song, song from the South. Sweet potato pie and I shut my mouth. Uh, na, 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 na. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Do you, do you live in the South? Are you moving to the South? Do you like the South? Are you traveling there this month? I don't know. Maybe you have family there and you're going there. You have letter C here. And you have um, the devil here. 
So addictions, confiscate, compensation, confiscating something here. Hmm. Yeah, and there could be prison here, prison time, because I'm hearing maybe you're getting confiscated for drugs. Maybe you were a drug dealer or dealing with someone like that in your family, and they're going to prison now. Confiscation, confiscate, confiscate. Yeah, whatever that is. That yeah, this person was like either a burden to you of Chinese ear of the rat here as well, Chinese ear of the rooster. Libra and Capricorn. Mm. Or maybe you're dealing with this from October to January here. Whoever this is, if this is you or somebody else. And you do have like the magic carpet here. So you are taking a magical trip or something you never thought you would go on or do. And there's something with the microscope here and four corners of a table. So stability, security, and balance. But looking at something very deeply here with the microscope. Chinese ear of the rat, Chinese ear of the rooster, Chinese ear of the goat, Chinese ear of the tiger, and Chinese ear of the dragon. AA could be significant here. The harp representing happiness and peace. And I'm hearing a pool of emotion here. You have a giraffe here. So seeing something from a different perspective, wow. You see how clear that is? You have a lot of clarity in this cup. The two most important things is you're seeing something from a higher perspective. This is like higher learning and knowledge and truth and family here. And you also have the Knight of Cups from the beginning of the month. And there is a short-term trip here, short trip but it's gonna connect you to something two years later. So maybe wherever you're traveling right now, you're gonna move there and live there. Cause you're gonna be like, wow, I really love this place. I feel so connected. I feel like I can raise a family here and start a family dynamic here. And that's what you're gonna do. L, J, G, and T. The seventh and seven days and you also have 14. So it's like, one to two weeks are going to be important in this month. Seven days from this cup to 14 days. 59 and 23 is here. And yeah, and you're, over, you're overcoming an obstacle here with this mountain. That's what it is. You're overcoming an obstacle here. And I'm hearing it was a sacrifice. So whatever it is, it's, it was a sacrifice for the better. Yeah, now it's coming very quickly here. Well, this is um, a wish coming true. And I'm hearing mixtapes. Hmm. Maybe you're creating music or mixtapes for somebody. Or it's for like a road trip, you know? You're going to have like a whole set of music for like seven hours. 59. Yeah, someone's throwing up here. And there's confirmation. It's like throwing up all this shit all these poisons and everything. So this could be rehab or like something like that. Yeah, you have the rooster here, Libra. Maybe you started going to this in October thinking about it and now you're you're doing it. You have three here. Chinese ear of the rat. There could be three people. This either friends or family that are gossiping about you or there's discord, like there's fighting a lot between these three people and you're like in the middle of it. And for some reason, I just had the taste of like donuts in my mouth, <laughs> but I don't have any donuts and I don't eat stuff like that. So <laughs> it was particularly like, uh, like a plain donut, but with like a honey glaze on it or something like you could still see the donut through it. It was like a clear glaze. I don't know. Kind of maybe like, what's that famous donut place? that I, I literally never ate at in my whole life. Um, I don't know where people go to get those donuts. It's like a famous donut place. I, I don't know what it is. But like their classic is like the most... And they are known in like the South. I 
I'm hearing F1 shooter. I don't know what that means, but there's like one of those flighter planes here that are used in the military, like those, those fast ones. There's something with that here. A lot of Chinese ear of the rat here. You also have someone that's singing like karaoke, letter D. So maybe you're like singing your heart out. I don't know. Maybe you're going to like some kind of event, party. Maybe you're a singer in a band. Or this could be like you doing karaoke. We have Chinese ear of the dragon here, Taurus. We also have lots of vines here and growth. So you're definitely growing, but you need to seek out information that will help you. In, the, in your situation this month. Because there's going to be a lot of things going. Like a lot of twists and turns. And there is. Something with like a motorbike here. Or a motorcycle. Three windows in a home. That are going to be significant. But one's broken. So there could be someone coming in and out of your house. Maybe literally. I don't know. Hopefully not. Uh, maybe you need to. Um, put more security. But this could be spiritually as well, like something can be coming in and out of your house. So you need to clear that letter A. And you have Chinese ear of the monkey here. And I'm here and get that passport ready, baby. Okay. So let's put that over here. Let me get the board. James could be significant. gentle with this stand because it's um not the one that I'm using permanently okay let's see for Aries Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to say that, but I don't know. Maybe you're going to be like, oh, damn, about something. I'm hearing something's not consistent here. Something isn't consistent here. Okay, I think we're done here. Yeah. All right, so what's happening in your love and relationships over here first? M, connected to this. 65 dreams are for chasing. Monday could be significant. You have another M here. Yeah, it's a change in the wind here in love and relationships. Something that you've been worried about, nervous about, having sleepless nights over, 47 make today count. Something was definitely slow moving here. 
kind of reminds me of like Gary from SpongeBob. So maybe it's like a cat or a pet is involved with this somehow. Or the letter G. We have a spiritual key here and the bat. So enemy is working against you, but you have the knowledge and expertise to move forward in this situation. And luck is on your side and you have a yes to your question here. You have four and seven and love here. 74, 47, Chinese ear of the horse, Chinese ear of the rabbit, and Chinese ear of the rooster here. Seven. No, not Chinese ear of the rooster, Chinese ear of the dog. Scorpio, Cancer, and Aries. You will be invited to an event connected to love here. Ooh. Interesting. Comment down below. Let me know, baby. You are experiencing bad luck this week. Be careful in your love and relationships here. So it might not go that well or something. All right, we have kisses, unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love here. Hmm. Twin flame. Yin yang, Zen balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. You're connected to a twin flame over here. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This could be someone that you broke up with. Or maybe you're not seeing eye to eye right now. Yeah, this could have been someone that you were in a deep commitment with or maybe about to get married to. Maybe you're having a breakup or a separation or there's a change in the wind with this dynamic here. And I'm hearing speak your truth here. Visiting your dreams. Yeah, this person's visiting your dreams. You're going to see this person before you meet them if this is someone new. Or you're going to have a dream of getting married to this person. And you're going to get married to them. Pay attention to the dreams and, and their messages here. In the near future. Yeah, in the near future, this is going to happen. Where you're going to see this person. They could be 47 years old or 74 is significant. Or 4 and 7. And 11 as well. 6 of swords. You're moving away from a situation. Hmm. And I'm hearing a third party. You could be moving away from a third party situation. Squad. Yeah, look, there's something with water here. Look, the, the lake, the ocean, the water, the bay. Maybe you're literally going on a canoe or something and you're just uh, being to yourself with some something with this. Six is uh, Chinese ear, the snake, and uh, Gemini. Reconciliation, soul tribe, and close friends. Chinese ear of the pig is here and Chinese ear of the rooster. Libra and Sagittarius. Lust. Oh, something's going on here with strawberries. Greed, bareback, and inconsiderate here. Hmm. Wow, you have the Libra scales here. And you have temptation with the apples. So Gemini, Scorpio, Capricorn here. The merchant, self-worth and trade. So it's like, are you going to trade your self-worth for something that's temporary or trash here? Or someone that was only lusty over you? Or are you going to, uh, in the very near future, maybe you have to make a decision between someone from the past and someone new. Or someone you just have a sexual connection to and then someone that is the real thing. Like a twin flame or something. I don't know. Yeah, look at this. You definitely have a commitment here. A marriage will take place either romantic or in business here. Yeah, there's definitely a romantic commitment here. Banquet, compliments from an admirer. Yeah, someone's going to compliment you. I told you, you have that knight of cups from the, in the cup that you had. Dog barking, advice from a friend. Maybe a Scorpio is going to give you advice. Chinese ear of the dog. Okay, so that's love and relationships for November. Now we have work and business here. A lot of tarot in here too. Two of Pentacles. X. G. And I just heard Enterprise here. And then you have Citrus, something new, maybe something sour. You are loved beyond here, they're saying. Hmm. The tower in reverse. This already happened. Ten of wands, but you're burdened by something that already fell or broke apart. 
Chinese year of the rooster. Something broke apart and fell apart in October. But it's still bleeding into uh, November here. You'll be learning a new skill for yourself. Ooh, that's cool. Comment down below. Let me know what that is. Oh, the fairies are coming in to give you a gift. Maybe it's something for outdoors. Maybe you're going to be working outdoors. Or in nature. They will contact you through the internet, social media here. Wow, some of you could be getting a job. Like a new job. You have Axe, A. Hmm. Maybe somebody that you cut off. Knight of Cups in reverse. And you have the Knight of Cups here, pretty much, in the cup. But it's not for work, it's, so it's definitely love here. The Hermit in reverse. The Magician in reverse. You feel like something is lacking in your life. Especially with your money and your work. Maybe you feel like something's not ready or it didn't come true. Your wish didn't come true with this. You're trying to manifest balance. But you're like burdened by something with the Ten of Wands here. But Spirit's saying you need to uh, believe in yourself and get out of a comfort zone. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe it's because you're worried about your money. And you need help here. You need to be in a team. You can't do this alone. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's a standstill here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, now the time is right. Okay, so this could be the energy of like mixed with the past a little bit. Or the beginning of the month's going to feel like this. And then towards the end of the month, you're going to get clarity and truth with the Wheel of Fortune. Upright, like it'll be the time for you. But maybe you still need to give it time, like in divine timing here. Yeah, and now another thing about time here. Hourglass, it's too late to apologize. You don't need an apology. The best closure is moving forward on your path. There's like something with your work and money. Like maybe you were waiting for some kind of apology or something to move forward with that. But Spirit's saying you don't need that. Just keep moving forward. You don't need closure in this. You already got closure with whatever that is. Yeah, ask your angels. Maybe you're going to have a... Uh, you know, some communication with your angels about this. And they're going to tell you, like, just move on. Yeah, the Six of Cups. Yeah, you have another Six. So you could be seeing 666 a lot. There could be a connection to the past or past lives here. Children or a soulmate's coming in to help you here. High vibing. Yeah, you're going to be living your best life. Yeah, that's why I think they're saying don't worry about it. Good vibes. Live into the fullest. Li enjoying the present moment. Yeah. Something's going to make you a lot of money, too. The poet. Maybe it's something you write. Or you put your feelings and thoughts into. Relationships and vulnerability. Maybe this is connected to people in your life. Maybe you're going to be meeting a soulmate or somebody that's going to help you move forward and build a, a foundation with you. The witch. Yeah, maybe you're a witch or you're very spiritual. You're into the esoteric knowledge here. Exp exp experimentation and rebellion here yeah you're definitely rebelling against like stuff with the matrix and stuff like you don't believe in it you don't want to do everything that everybody else does you're going to be doing your own thing and maybe you're building your own business maybe you're an entrepreneur or something problems to be resolved december maybe it's going to take till to december for this to all play out yeah, Axe, and you had Axe spelled here, kind of. Wor forces working against you. Yeah, you just have to wait till the right time. It's not the right time yet. Or you're going to feel like that, like things are working against you. Just surrender, okay? Because things will definitely start working out more towards December. So you got, a, a, what, like a month left after that? So just, you know, focus on, like, the good things and everything. Everything's going to work out. News and spirit news. You know what that's about to spell? KFC, baby. Which is trash. Do not eat that shit. But maybe you like fried chicken and maybe you're going to make your own fried chicken or something. Or maybe it's like something from the South. I don't know. Maybe you like that. Or maybe something about visiting your family. Maybe that's like a thing that you guys like to have together. Like homemade fried chicken or something. You have Virginia here. Kentucky. PA. Kuala Lapar, I'm hearing, which is in um, Cambodia. 
Kafir. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a lot of family stuff here. You're going to really have a nice time with your family this month, which is great. 23, full of wonder. I feel like your family is what's going to make you feel grounded here this month because there's going to be a lot of things. Someone is unwilling to change and this is causing problems. You are going viral this year. You have the throat chakra here. Three, three months from now, maybe. Three weeks to three months are going to be significant. The third, Chinese year, the tiger, Pisces. You're going to be seeing things very clear by that time. Yeah, and you're going to treat yourself to something here. And you have Leo here. And you're being very attractive. You're being seen as very attractive as well. Very beautiful or handsome. You are getting married this year. You. Hmm. so expect to get married maybe so i'm here in like the next three years you will be married some of you could be even three months from now maybe next year you're going to be married you are being blocked because you are in your own way so you need to get out of your own way Try stop trying to control the situation here it's going to happen in one week something's going to happen in one week from when you see this reading Time to chill. Time to relax and chill. You did enough. Yeah. Crossroads. Yeah, you're going to be at a crossroads. Torn between more than one path. Take action. Seven of Pentacles. This is something you invested into. That you've been growing. And I'm hearing saving for. And there's something where you're going to take action on it now. The warrior here. Oh, wow. You guys are the warrior. You're the Aries. You're the warrior here. Perfectionism and burnout here. So be careful of that. Maybe you want to wait till everything's perfect, but spirit's going to spirit's gonna push you in the right direction. And you're going to go and you're going to take that leap of faith. Time to go out and have fun. Turkey, Chinese here, the rooster. Someone's behaving stupidly here. Bird purse, waiting for news package or letter here. Okay. Home and self. See? Connecticut. I saw right away. Tennessee. R. Trinidad. Something with India as well. India. And uh, Ukraine. The Ukraine here. Hmm. So there's definitely a soulmate coming in to help you with money and finances here. Ro. Roti, Rogue, and I'm hearing under the weather. So maybe you need to boost that immune system, baby. This is a karmic relationship, negative, need to release. So whatever this is in your life, you know what it is. You got to let it go. Yeah, because maybe it's a Gemini that you're dealing with or someone that's wearing a mask. The masquerade, hiding your true self from projection here. Yeah, don't hide your true self. Don't hide your true feelings. And there's like a trio here. Three people are involved here. Yeah, Chinese are the horse, cancer, short journey. Maybe something with art. Yeah, you're definitely going on some kind of journey here. This is a spiritual journey. You have two things about journey here. Long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser in the end. Tulip, great passion. Hmm. Wow, look, the distance is killing me. You could be moving far away from your partner or that's what this is. Maybe you're moving like full force, I'm hearing. Absence do truly does make the heart grow fonder. Or there could be a distance between you and somebody else. It's an opportunity and you're going to take it. Maybe at first you're going to feel guilty about it and you're going to pretend that it doesn't bother you. But Spirit's saying, don't do that because you're going to have resentment and regret. And you have to take a leap of faith. Yeah, Page of Swords, you could be learning a new skill here. Or someone's watching you. Maybe this is someone coming in to help you. They could have air placements. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people wanting to get your... Um, I'm hearing your affection here, but... Your attention. Maybe someone needs your help. There's one person that's a secret admirer here. The Pathless 
difficult decisions, lack of direction. Yeah, you definitely are confused on which way to go here because you have the crossroads here. You know, you, you have to ground yourself. Maybe that's what they're saying. Go visit your family. You know what I mean? And talk to people that you trust because they're going to help you make an informed decision, especially about a relationship that maybe you've been stuck in, worried about or whatever. It's going to be different for all of you. But remember, you had that giraffe, the Knight of Cups. And you also have, I just saw right here, um, I'm not going to pick this up, but right here is the, um, not the Eiffel Tower, the, uh, I just heard Queen of Peace. No. <laughs> okay. Um, the Statue of Liberty. So, yeah, however that resonates for you, New York or some kind of famous statue. But, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you. Comment down below. Let me know. Um, I love you guys. Good luck with everything, and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.